So we have a plate. I say plate. You can tell I'm a, my background is a mechanic, so I think everything's a structure. Right? <laughs> but, so, you know, we have a 2D domain, right? Because the problem we're actually going to solve is, you know, related to, say, like, porous media. Going to have no flux boundaries on those sides. The plate is 3A wide, 2B tall. On the top, we're going to have a known field. like this, and on the right side, we'll have that, right? And so we're going to solve this equation. And, you know, writing it out like we have, And we're going to solve it using six elements. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, with global node numbers one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to use quadrilaterals that are A wide, B tall, right? So we already know the stiffness matrix for this guy. And have the local number, no numbering scheme one, two, three, four. So that's identically, we already know the stiffness matrix, we can just write it down, right? And my computer told me it's out of battery, so maybe that's just a good place to stop. So what I'll do is I'll record the rest of this. I'm actually going to write a finite element code in 2D to solve this particular problem. What I mean by that. It's not going to be general such that you could just provide it any mesh that you come up with. I'm going to sort of do it like I did the 1D example for you guys. Did you, did you like that in the recording where I just sort of went step by step and showed you everything? So that's what I'm going to do here, step by step, and show you, you know, how we build up. Uh, in, in this case, since I'm going to use Mathematica, I'll probably just reconstruct you know, the derivation of the stiffness matrix because it's faster than writing it down. And then, you know, I'll show you the assembly, the application of the boundary conditions, the global solve, and then I'll probably produce a plot or something. So I think with that, we'll, we'll stop here. And uh, my office hours today...